I have been a KU bus driver for the past four and a half years. On September 5th, 2012, I was discharged for, of all things, having the whole football charter sing Sweet Caroline on the bus with me. I find it hard to believe that I don't get to go back on campus and work with the students, the staff, and the support staff transporting them around from place to place. and. I'm really saddened by it. You know, it's kind of like I'm mourning the loss of my late wife all over again. You know, it's, 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 it wasn't a job. It was something I truly enjoyed doing. Everything about it. Uh, the hustle bustle of rush hour, the in the case of the university, you know, watching the students mill around like a big ant farm on campus when class change occurs. it That stuff doesn't bother me in the least. Some people, it just annoys the heck out of them. Doesn't bother me at all. I find it kind of interesting. And then the smiles on their faces when they see you rolling up. I had some students, you know, doing the arm gesture like, ah, it's Dan. And, and that always gave me just a sense of pride to be there. You know, that they weren't just happy to see a bus, but the bus driver as well made my day. If you greet somebody with a smile, even if they're having a miserable time, it changes their mood considerably. They get on the bus and you can see in their eyes what kind of day they're having, good, bad, or indifferent. If you just simply say, okay, so what's the problem? And listen. The key factor is, is listen. They'll tell you, open your ears and your mind to these young people. They want to be heard. So, in my own little way, I'm trying to change the world one person at a time. Whether it be an American citizen, a Chinese citizen, a German, it doesn't matter where you come from. We're all people. And everybody likes to be treated nice.